Oh, just to cut the whole story short, because I tried to record this and it was just too too long. So, um, basically, my ex husband um, is with somebody new. Again, to me, I'm blessed that he has someone because he's tends to be very lonely guy you know so um i'm glad that he has someone and the, the girl looks like she's smart and she's cute and she looks like she works out and um so she she looks like she's cool you know she's cool people's and especially the fact that they went to like a comedy show it looks like you know she has a good sense of humor so that's awesome because he definitely is like a funny girl in his life um but anyways a uh, the, the reason why it kind of like hit me this time, I think it's because of the fact that I feel like I sewn so much into making this man who he is right now, that now this new woman's reaping everything that I could, that I deserved. But at the end of the day, I don't deserve anything. Like As I'm thinking about all this, you know, like I'm like, man, who am I to say that I did all this? You know what I mean? Um, compared to what the lord has done in my life what christ has accomplished on the cross like i can never repay that back what the lord has done for all of us you know but coming with that mindset it's very prideful and there's a prideness in me that i have to kill and crucify daily you know what i mean my ego I have to crucify daily um but definitely just seeing how my mentality is about i was crying over this and allowing the enemy to plant seeds in my mind thinking that oh you need someone too because you need to step up your game <laughs> no i do not sir no i do not as i was crying and i was like i was crying to the lord and i was just talking to god and i was like crying telling how i feel straight up straight up how i feel this ain't right da -da 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 -da. you know like straight up like that with god but then <laughs> i felt like god was saying back to me he was like um when will i be enough for you like why must you um have to go seek to find a a man or find something to satisfy you in the ways that i can't satisfy you like he is the water he is the sun he is the salt he is everything possibly that i will ever need every source of anything and everything so why am i here trying to run to something that's temporary preach so it just goes to show you like my investment in my ex-husband's life whether i did whatever i did um help him go to school um let him have the car as i go on the bus and i go on the train to go to work and yet still have to come you know uber myself home because i just don't feel like taking the train and bus whatever the case may be whatever like all of the the struggles that i had in my marriage um like i chose that i made my bed you know what i mean and now i just I had to lay on it lay, lay in it you know what i mean at the time so why am i complaining now like if i did it out of love and everything like that so now what is not love anymore you know what i mean so whatever that i invested in my ex-husband's life like god knew what he needed and you know again i had many red flags before marrying this man i didn't listen to it because i was like you know what this is the only love that i think i deserve i think this is the only man that's going to come in my life to give me attention etc etc even this, even the fact that this guy has so many problems so many <laughs> um but the lord knows what he does in any circumstances in any stories that you're doing so now i know now not to settle for less and to higher my standards because you know what i am a daughter of god and i am very important to someone's life and that's not pride saying that i'm saying because i know my value and my worth through christ but don't get me wrong he was not the only one with problems because everybody got problems you know what i'm saying everybody got problems and i had problems with a i had a very 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 low self-esteem i did not know my worth i just jumped on the first guy who gave me attention i literally thought that you know what i can you know i saw him for his potential instead of being with a man who already is in his potential like he's 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 already like working it out manifesting it you know what i mean instead of you being the person that has to push 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 this dude to do what he dreams of doing and then when you tell him something he doesn't receive it from you he receives it for somebody else who's saying the same thing that i'm saying to him that happens to everybody happens to me happens to you i'm sure you do don't lie so just the moral of this whole story is you know 
I constantly have to crucify my flesh because I have to constantly crucify my pride, my ego, this person who I thought I was to him. You know, I, I thought I was like, you know, even though I held him in a pedestal, I literally felt like I was his God. You know what I mean? Like, even though he was like my God, technically, I felt like I was his God. Like he needs me to do et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And that definitely has been shattered during our separation and through the divorce. Um, God has completely exposed my heart. And so like, this is where I feel like all of these learning moments is amazing for me because like here I was crying and thank the Lord that the Holy Spirit works awesome through through my through my struggle and when i pray to god and when i talk to him things are are being made clear that listen you sound dumb sandra you sound like you have a lot of pride and that's what it was not that god said that i sound dumb but the fact that like this is literally pride talking this is literally like the enemy trying to implant little things in my mind trying to trying to tell me that oh like oh you need to be with somebody you need to step up your game because he's with somebody definitely not no thank you i do not want to rush into anything because i know now that like i did before when i was 22 i was praying to god i was like god give me a husband and then this dude gives me attention and i'm like hey he might be the one married the dude stayed with him for 12 years and then divorced you know <laughs> things like that even though i am not in cultures or the societies like oh my gosh she's 35 and she's like with no kids or whatever the case may be listen culture and society don't don't make me who i am the word the word of god the gospel that tells me mirrors who i am so if i'm 35 years old divorced single now my name is sandra ramos and i am a confident woman of god who is walking in my purpose in this odyssey sorry i changed like positions of the camera anyways i just want to say something too was the fact that listen even though i don't have children i have a huge community that has like a million bajillion 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 children that like need someone to raise their children not necessarily that they're, they're gone and no one's there to raise their kids but the fact that it takes a village to raise your children like my guy i'm part of the village you know what i mean like help let me help you raise your children that kind of sound kind of like sus a little bit but it's true you know what i mean like they're my brothers and sisters in christ and it is what it is help them out because i know once you become a mom or a dad y'all be losing y'all you ain't sleeping right you need a break and guess what titi san san's here so basically i end with this no matter where you've been in life no matter who you've been with in your life just know that everything works out for your good at the end of everything everything works out for your good and the lord uses everything for your sanctification your purification like todo, todo. like all the ingredients he uses it he uses it for his glory he uses it to mature you to give you endurance to give you perseverance like and just expose the heck out of your heart and Holy Spirit continue to do so because all of this can be easily, easily misconstrued with my pride and ego and my God, I will probably be in a different state of mind. But thank you, Jesus, that I'm matured a lot spiritually and like mentally to know like, yo, let me stop. Let me breathe and let me take a breather and let me talk to the Lord real quick. And that's what it is. So love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.